Meg choked as Wales and Princess Diana brutally slam her for selling Royal Story on Tyndall Podcast. Teach her a lesson. Meg brutally slammed by Wales and Princess Anne on Tyndall Podcast. Whatever Harry does this weekend will be overshadowed by the Wales at rugby match this weekend. There's big news in Europe. I really want to talk about it. There was a bit of darkness while filming at Windsor Castle. The Prince of Wales revealed the only time he's ever cried watching a sport was when his cousin Zara Tyndall won an event as he appeared on Surprise Podcast. William, with the animated Kate and Princess Anne, joins former England rugby player Mike Tyndall, who is married to the Princess Royal's daughter, Zara, on his show. The Good, the Bad, and the Rugby is his podcast. Father of three, William recalls the only time he ever cried while watching sports and also reveals an important lesson. He hopes team sports will help educate his three children. He admitted that he shed tears while watching his cousin Zara complete and compete rather, and said that the only time he cried while watching sports is when Zara wins. I think it was the European Championship. I was on Exmoor camping. We were all gathered around the phone watching. She's there. She's crying. The flag is going up. I was broken into pieces. Tyndall hosts a rugby podcast with former rugby players James Haskell and TV host Alex Payne. Kate added, I can remember because you turned around and said, I have never been so proud of anyone. William also discussed important lessons, hoping his children, George, Charlotte, and Louis, will learn from playing team sports, talking about the skills you get from your early years playing sports with teams. He said, learn how to lose, which I think we have to focus on more. Nowadays, I think people don't really know how to lose. Well, especially when it comes to our children. I want to make sure they understand that. I think it's really important from an early age to understand how to lose and why we lose and grow from it and what you learn from the process as well as winning. Yes, and don't brag, there are so many life lessons that help us all out throughout our lives about friendships, building relationships, building relationships in the workplace that you get from your early years in team sports. Maybe Prince William is referring to Megan in that polo match, trying to get that prize box from the players and then standing there while they were all trying to lift the trophy above her head and she tries to become part of it as if she were the captain of the team, the winning team. It looks like Harry, in his team, didn't even get that win, especially when she bowed and banged her head stupid trying to move forward and clapped her hands like a seal. She's scary. It's absolutely disgusting. We, the public, are more ashamed of her than ourselves, even. She's either clueless or stupider than a bag of flour. Then it was Kate's turn to explain why she loves team sports and joke with Mike. I wouldn't say you're really competitive, but I've seen her play beer pong. I'm not competitive at all, Kate replied, before explaining that her parents always encouraged her to participate in sports. She went on to say that she and William had never finished a game of tennis, and giggled as she added, It becomes a mental challenge between the two of us. Okay, that's the end.